Hi, Tim Bowers here, and I'd like to share with you some information about the art supplies that I'll be using in the drawing lessons. Starting with the white paper. You can buy this copy paper in big packages like this. It's fairly inexpensive and it's great for practicing. Uh, it, there's a lot of paper there, so it should last a long time. You can invest in the more expensive, higher quality drawing paper. But for practicing and everyday use, I think copy paper is great, especially for kids just starting out. You can go through a lot of that and not break the bank. And I would suggest putting a piece of paper or poster board or cardboard under your drawing. So it's beneath your drawing because when you're using, let's say, a black marker or some sort of a wet media that goes through your paper, it can uh, damage or mark up the surface below it, like a nice wooden table. This is the paper that I used under my demos. You can see there are a lot of little black marker dots on this paper. I wouldn't want that on my wooden table. So uh, that's something to keep in mind before you start your drawing. And these are 2B yellow pencils. You can find these just about everywhere. They're in big packs. Here's a big pack I just bought for the studio. Um, they're not a fancy drawing pencil. You can buy those. Um, and I have a bunch of them that I use. But I also use these for just sketching and everyday use. And for kids and for most uses, these 2B pencils are great. There is a little eraser on the end of this pencil, and you can use that to do some erasing. It's a little tiny eraser, so it's not gonna last very long. You can then buy a larger eraser, like the gum erasers or the synthetic eraser, and uh, you know use it to rub the um, pencil marks away. But when you do that, a lot of times you end up with the little eraser uh, shavings on your drawing. And so if you go that route, you'd want to possibly buy a little brush that you can then brush the um, little shavings off of your drawing when you're finished. Um, I actually, a lot of times, will use just a, a cheap paintbrush, as long as the bristles are fairly soft. And you can use that just to, to lightly sweep your drawing and get those uh, little, little uh, eraser pieces off. Uh, the eraser that I use, and that I, I love this eraser, I've been using these erasers for years and years. They're called kneaded erasers, and they come in little packages like this. It looks like a little brick. You um, take it out of the wrapping, and it stretches. It's a fairly pliable eraser. You can stretch it and then fold it back into itself, stretch it, and then fold it back in, and you're kneading it. That's, the, that's the, why they call it a kneaded eraser. So um, what happens is you'll, you, you'll use one side and get it real dirty, and then you take it and stretch it and fold the, the dirty side into the eraser so you have a brand new, nice, clean side to start erasing with again. And for the black marker, I use a Sharpie. They dry quickly. They do bleed through the paper, so make sure you put something under your drawing. When it comes to coloring your drawing, um, I use colored pencils, and it's... Just I've used colored pencils for years and years. My favorite are the Prisma colors. They're just beautiful um, colored pencils. But there are also uh, colored pencils. I haven't tried this set yet, but I will. That I bought locally. And then Crayola makes colored pencils. Crayola makes a lot of um, uh, supplies that you might want to try. Here's a note about the coloring pencils or even the 2B pencils. They're very fragile. The lead inside is very breakable, so you want to be careful not to drop them on the floor. If you drop your pencils on the floor, there's a good chance that lead in the middle is going to shatter or break. Then when you go to sharpen the pencil, as you're sharpening, those pieces inside of the pencil will just fall out. You'll do more sharpening than drawing. So be very careful with the pencils. I would encourage you to experiment and try different uh, materials. But for now, we'll just keep it simple with the uh, supplies that I've shared with you today. So there's a little insight into the art supplies that you'll be using for these drawing lessons. I hope you'll have fun, work at your own pace, try it a few times. The more you practice, the better you get. And I'll see you soon. Bye.